And we're back again. Um, in the last part, we saved a bunch of miners, and now we have to go find out what's up in Bassett. If it's more orphans again, I'm going to be annoyed. Maybe we'll get to do some fishing. We haven't done that for a while. Well, I guess we'll just have to find out, won't we? Also, I just noticed Flo doesn't get an actual stand here. She's just got a sign. Fire drill. I think... I feel like I know this one. I think... I think this might be our first DLC quest, but I'm not certain about that. Teaching the children about safety and staying safe. Sounds good. I might be confusing it with something else, though. We'll find out. <laughs> so, Waffle is waiting for us at the orphanage. Along with Mamoru. Huh? So that's what's making me think it's is a DLC quest, is I heard about a DLC quest involving Mamoru to do with something about a fire drill. Of course, it's entirely possible that it wasn't a DLC quest, and I'm just confusing everything again. Who knows, we'll find out. I do get confused a lot. Is that the first time we've actually seen Waffle just stood there? Also, look how small Mamoru is. I thought he'd be taller. Alright then, let's... Uh... Yeah, I suppose this is actually um, three protagonists together at the minute then. <laughs> Wait, we're studying? I thought we were lecturing. Alright then, what are we doing? Gonna learn about safety, aren't you excited viewers? The world is going to end and we're here to talk about safety with children. A quiz? I like quizzes. I'm good at quizzes. Let's see if we can learn something. <laughs> First question. Are you prepared? A stranger says he'll give you some candy if you go with him. What do you do? <laughs> I kind of want to give the wrong answers for this just for a laugh. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh... You know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quick save and give all the wrong answers, just see what happens. So give me a sec to quick save here. There we go. All quick saved. Uh, so we tell him to come with us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dang it, Red. <laughs> It would be fine if we told them to come with us. I mean, Red's more dangerous than a Sky Pirate. <laughs> oh, I did get it wrong on purpose, though. <laughs> okay, I think we can get these wrong with no consequence. So it should be fine. What do we say to the director before going out to play? See you later. Nothing in particular where you're going. Um, we say, we say, see you later. We let her know we're going out, but we don't tell her where. <laughs> yep, yeah, you should really say where it is you're going. Let her know in case you get lost, I suppose. Yeah, see, Arzain agrees with me. But then again, that might not be the best idea. Why do I have to tell Chocolate where I'm going? She already knows where I'm going. She's got a tracker on the robot, hasn't she? Oh, I definitely explore that. Not even my friends. Not even my friends. I'm keeping that for myself. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but ancient rundown ships are cool. Pas 
<laughs> yeah, I'm de I'm definitely not loading. Actually, I think I'll load the quick save and give the right answers just to see if there's any difference. If not, I'll. You know, if anything interesting happens, I'll just leave it in. But if not, I'll cut ahead. Or me, Ashinel. Let's just leave it where it is. I can't be bothered to answer that again. Let's just leave it. <laughs> I think it's funnier if Red's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, make sure Ozzy knows how to stay safe. <laughs> we got everything wrong. Fire evacuation drill. Alright then. That doesn't look safe. Does it look easier though? It's on fire. Okay, I am fairly certain now that this is... Yeah, I think fairly certain this is the DLC quest I was talking about earlier, but... Ow! And what I do know about this quest, if it is the again the one I'm thinking of, is it gets difficult really quickly. Apparently it's got some kind of really horrific difficulty spike. Ow! So I'm gonna have to watch out for that and... Okay, I passed that lot of fire. Yeah, that was kinda easy. Ozzy, no! <laughs> you don't have a robot and you are a child. You will get set on fire. Yep, it's him. Yep, I was right. That guy is Mamoru's dad. Yep, and here we are. Super special course. This is going to be... hard, from what I've heard. So we might want to quick save here. <laughs> Again. Okay. All we have to do is not die, I'm guessing. <clears throat> well, at least we're not being timed, so, um. Yeah, there's a quick save, and we will get this underway. Okay, let's go. Let's take it steady. Nice and easy. Woot! Ow! Hate these crabs. Ooh, there's something shiny over there, I want it. Even if it means walking through fire, I want it. Hey, two pea crystals. Worth almost dying in a flame. Okay, let's take things step oh, ow. Watch out for falling rocks. Ow! How am I supposed to get around that then? Ow! Eek! Eek! Careful! Oh god, this is actually kind of tense. Ow! That's just a straight up flamethrower! How am I supposed to avoid that? Jump! Jump! That's how! Jump over it! Okay, careful. Don't get steamed. I don't want pea crystals right now. I want out meat. I need meat to recover my health. <coughs> oh, for the love of... I'm going to get this just because it's here. Okay, let's take it. Oh! Take it steady. Nice and steady. Don't get crushed, burned, electrocuted, or crabbed. More of those things. Ah! Oh, a barrel. Barrel. Need, need health, please. Hey! 
There you go, got a bit of a cu safety cushion now. Hey! I saw you there. Is it just me or is Mamaru's dad absolutely insane? Ow! I thought I was out of range. Ow! Okay. I think we've lost most of the health we got from that barrel of meat, but we're okay as long as I keep steady. <laughs> Did we win? <laughs> I see what they mean. That was one hell of a difficulty spike. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, I, I will take this seriously from now on. Wait, did Ozzy follow us? Well, that is a good lesson. That is a very good lesson for the kids. They are certainly not going to take... They are not going to mess around when it comes to fires anymore. Oh, thank you. You're going to make it less dangerous for everyone else. I am... <coughs> so happy to hear that. Enjoy it. They almost died. It's okay. We're fine. I was about to say, 500 rings isn't much, but the 5P crystals... We're, we're good now. Yep, so the rescue worker was Mamoru's dad. But again, if I'm not confused, getting confused, as I said, I do a lot, I am fairly certain that was a DLC mission. Meaning that they are on this ROM. Unless it wasn't a DLC mission, and they might still be, and I don't know, so I'm just going to stop talking. Anyway, let's go get our next side quest. <clears throat> Alright, wrong way. <laughs> Went to the wrong door. But in all seriousness, in all seriousness, though, I like the idea that they've just got this random fire safety bit mixed into this game for no real reason. It's just funny. Well, I guess it's still good lessons and stuff. Even if you are, even if you think you know all that stuff already, it's really good to have it have the memory refreshed. I guess. But let's see where we got to go next. To Pharaoh, eh? Good, we can probably have to be forced to walk past that creepy statue again and Here comes the music lag like it does always in this place. There it is. Sky Pirates are in the train station. Well we can deal with that. I've forgotten where the train was now. That was it. That way and right. Hey pal, what do you have to say? No, nothing new, because those guys are still there. Do they just shut down when they're not being controlled? Because they don't seem to do much. Yeah, I want to go this way. What about you? Do you have anything to say? I know they have. They're not exactly easy to miss. You look like a unique sprite. I wonder if he's going to factor into this quest. We'll find out. <coughs> Alright then. Let's get rid of these pirates. I wonder what they want that's on the train. It's bound to be some kind of cargo thereafter. Just gotta sip my lemonade. Ah. And we're moving. I wonder which pirates it is that it's attacking. Could be clappers or howlers, I guess.
Well, I gotta walk. Oh, no, I just have to get a different train. Okay, Peach member. Ooh, that's pink. <laughs> that's aggressively pink. Are there other pink peaches? I'm guessing this is going to be like a group of lady sky pirates. <laughs> Your robots are no match for the Dahark. Into the train. Nope. <laughs> Aim that wrong. Who are you calling a loser? Okay. Well, we know they've got a boss. Right, where's... Ooh, that's... Is that diff? That's unique. I haven't really seen that before. Come get me. Ooh! Out. Okay, so can we lift it? Yes, we can. I thought that robot might have been too big to lift, but apparently not. So it does its zap shield, out. Then you can pick it up and slam it into the ground. No problem at all. There's that big sister again. Yep, still going this way. And what well, just one by themselves now? I guess maybe in the previous fight you could have thrown the smaller robot at the bigger one. Now you actually have to fight this properly. Or hit it with a box. That works. Ow. Oh, the coin. Let's yeah, just throw boxes at her. <laughs> More crystals, some meat, and some money. Nice. Oh, come on, Red. I'm sure you could have figured that out. Too late. Too late for what? You think it would have been funny if I picked up one of the boxes and there was a kitten in it? Right then, no. Let's take the train. Oh, of course, I can't drive a train when I'm on a robot. Nope. Select the... Not the Dahark. The train. There we go. I'm not sure the Dahark and an entire train are equatable. I mean, look at all those buttons and levers. Also, I like the detail that there's a massive windscreen wiper on the um on the front of the train there. I hadn't noticed that before. Okay. Of course, it's the deepest point. Couldn't be anywhere convenient, like right outside the front door. Alright, let's get going. See if we can find this crystal drive. More of you. Well, if you won't move, I'll have to make you move. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can argue with them in that case. I wouldn't say... Mm, yeah, I'd argue that not all men are idiots, but Rez definitely is. There we go. <laughs> but not all men are idiots. Sure, we've got to have met some smart guys during our adventure, but it's just the problem is most of what we're dealing with is red, and he definitely is an idiot. There's a button here, I want to press it. Actually, mainly I wanted the P crystals, but you know.
Yeah, let's keep moving. I'm sorry, I've already beat up like eight of your members. What do you think you're going to do that the others couldn't? Yeah, what are you planning? The final flower? Are you making a garden? Don't think you have to do that in a train station, do you? <laughs> okay, wait for her to jump. Stop spinning and do what we always do. There's one down. Oh, I, just, I didn't know you could knock them out of the spin. Ow. Ow! Thought she was going to go straight over me then. Would you knock it off? Okay, now red. Grab. And slam. There we go. So what's this final flower thing? <laughs> so she's developed a crush on red now. What? Time out? Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, we do have to deal with a lot of unique characters. Or maybe you didn't just announce to the world that you bumped your butt. Take it a bit more seriously then. Yeah, I can't be bothered to deal with them, so I'm just gonna trance it. Nice and easy. There, are you traumatized now? Why are you crying? You attacked me! You can't attack me and then complain that I won't leave you alone. Well, before we do that, I want treasure. Hey, you can see the sky beneath us. That looks dangerous. Again, everything in this world is... They never seem to quite bring up the threat of falling off the face of the world. Alright, is this big sister then? That's a big robot. What? Palmia? Is that Palmia, I guess? Blow up? Why are you making it blow up? Why are you doing that? Where's the profit in this? Oh, she's an explosion fetishist, that's why. They're disbanding, but this is the first time we've ever met them. I see! You're a lunatic! Look, I've faced your kind of robot before, it's not difficult. And I've been provided with this convenient metal box. Ooh, Lee! <laughs> That's different. Either way, just get on top and lift this thingy out. And we win! You are weaker than your <laughs> goons! <laughs> no! No! Please no! No! I don't want an explosion fetishist for a girlfriend. Christ almighty, these girls are nuts. Um, that's still not good. Knock it off! <laughs> yes! I know, don't... I don't know, leave or not. 
I don't think this is up to a maintenance team. I think this is a run away and hide for cover sort of thing. Okay, we've dealt with the pink. <laughs> we've dealt with the pink peaches. They were nuts. Shouldn't we at least hunt them down so they can be arrested or something? I mean, even if they've disbanded and they're now living normal lives, they are still a terrorist group. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, this game makes me laugh at times. And then makes me sad at others. Occasionally makes me angry. But mostly it makes me laugh. But that's all the side quests done, I think. So, uh, why don't we go see if we can find that flute? I mean, we do kind of need it to save the world and everything. I'll see you next time, then. Goodbye.